What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and in today's video, we are going to be building the Bronco that Ford simply can't. And to do that, I've got two of the best customization builders in the United States standing right next to me. We've got Colton Love, Nathan Harmon from Bessemer and Pell City locations of TC Customs and I cannot wait to see exactly what they're going to do. We're going to give them two identical Broncos and see who can build the best Bronco. So first up, let's see what Colton Love has to offer. Since both of these vehicles are identical, let me tell you a little bit about the factory options you get on these. They are, these are both cactus, cactus gray, Area 51. I can't think, I get the colors mixed up, but they're both Outer Banks models. Both of them have hard tops, both of them have cloth seating, and both of them are high packages. So with that being said, Colton Love, tell us what you got. All right, so here we are. We're gonna start on the front of this Bronco. Uh, one of the coolest things that we've done on this particular vehicle is something we haven't done on any other one. These are Oracle lights that actually light up in the dark. Um, they are on right now, it's a little bright outside, kind of hard to see them. We added this Addictive Desert Design Street Fighter bumper along with some rigid lights on the front there. Uh, this thing is not going to let you be lost in the dark, that's for sure. Along with the lights, we also added this Rough Country roof light. Uh, if we step to the side, you will see it's a little taller than stock. This is a two inch zone off-road lift kit. We've got a set of fuel block wheels uh, and a set of Nitto Ridge Grapplers. You know we love our Ridge Grapplers. This is a set of step rails that we, we sell a lot of. We really like them. We like that it is a good step to get in the vehicle, but also doesn't hinder any of your drop down. Uh, you still got all the ground clearance you need. Uh, they are by Grow Rhino. If you look right here, you actually see one cool item we added is a Sun Rider by Best Top. This allows you to actually be able to drop the top back whenever you want to while still having the hard top option. And that only takes two to three minutes to take on and off. It's a really simple, really awesome product that we're working with here. If you look on the inside real quick, we got a little wild. We did some double diamond stitching. Uh, we matched the outside bolsters to the actual color of the vehicle and then went in and did the black on the other spots. If we keep walking around the vehicle, we're actually getting to the back and we have put the matching Addictive Desert Design bumper on here. Of course, we have that fifth spare tire to match. Um, yeah, overall, it's a pretty quick build. We really tried to keep it mild. That's kind of my style. I don't like to go completely crazy. I do like, I do like it to look different, but I don't like to get too crazy. Very, very good look, I will tell you that. And I'll also say that every one of these products are linked down below, tccustoms.com. We'll actually have the build sheet in the form of links down below if you wanna take, take a look at those. So without further ado, I cannot wait to show you what Nate Dog has got built. <laughs> it makes it look so small. Dude, this, this thing's a monster. What you got for us? Well, we started out with a not so off-road Bronco. So we had to make sure that we could make this the most capable off-road Bronco. So uh, to start up here on the front, we've got a Fab Fours bumper and this is their premium winch bumper. So we dropped in a worn uh, 10S. So it's a 10,000 pound synthetic line winch. We've got some rigid uh, pod lights here on the top. And then also uh, we've got some rigid lights here as fog lights. Now, all the lights on here are off-road use only, but my goal to make this the ultimate Bronco was it had six upfitter switches, so we had to use all six of those switches. So you're about to see we got a ton of lights on this thing. It's going to be awesome. Coming around here to the side, we'll go ahead and talk about the suspension we've got on here. You know, it was a first for us to use all those auxiliary switches, but we also have a first here in a couple different ways. Uh, first would be the Icon suspension. So we've got a four inch fully adjustable coilover suspension system. Comes with these really awesome billet aluminum upper control arms. So we got full adjustability, which allowed us to fit 38s. So this is the first time we've ever put a 38 on a Bronco. The only thing we had to do was remove those crash bars, make some adjustments on the suspension. Um, and we're gonna test it out and hopefully see how much clearance we still have there. We wrapped these Method Racing uh, wheels. These have the beadlock technology on them. So what methods, you know, they say that this helps with whenever you air down the tire, bead's less likely to slip. That way you don't have to step up to a beadlock wheel if you don't want to. Um, but we got that wrapped in a 38 by 12 and a half Nitto Ridge Grappler. And then here on the side, we've got some high clearance and fab steps, you know, especially with it, four inches of lift and 38s. Need a little bit of help getting up in there. So we got these awesome and fab steps on here. And then uh, up here on the mirror, we've got the rigid pod lights again. And then also on the roof rack, uh, Ford does make an option to mount a roof roof light to the roof rack. So we got that as well. And then on the inside, we've got some custom leather. This is probably one of my favorite designs I've seen so far. It's got this really nice light uh, pattern insert in the seats, which looks really cool. Of course, we got TC Customs in the headrest. And then if we come around to the back, 
We've got a new bumper here as well. We've got the Fab Fours Vengeance rear bumper, I believe it was. Again, some rigid lights here as well, so we can see backing up at night nice and clearly if you're off-roading at night. We've got the Rough Country tailgate support and relocation bracket, because again, the idea of this is to be a really big off-roader, and we want to make sure we get that spare tire up out of the way so that way it doesn't mess up your departure angles. So yeah, that's what we got on our Bronco. Well, I can obviously tell this is a very much a premium build. Um, I'm starting to regret the fact that I told you there was no budget on this <laughs> video. <laughs> so I got text proof. So. Yeah, yeah, yes, you do. <laughs> you definitely do. Very, very well done. I do want to uh, go over both of these vehicles and I want to kind of give you guys some of the pros and cons that I see of each one of these builds because once again I had zero input on either one of these builds that's how confident I am in both of our locations of handling these customers that we have the call in shameless plug call us right there if you are interested in having any vehicle customized yeah. but uh, very very well done let's bring Colton back in here and I'm going to pick apart his yours and also show what I think some of the wins are awesome First up, let's talk about Colton's build. First off, I would say very, very well done. It's classy. It looks good with the bumpers. I like those go round steps, especially, I mean, I mean, I am six foot three, and so it does make it easier to get inside. And I've got a big old foot, and uh, I like how much further these things stick out. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you, though, that even being six foot three, uh, you got to get your knee pretty high up there. It's not a negative. It's just a design choice. Gotcha. Um, but what I like about this build is this kind of shows off um, that you can still get a Bronco, customize it, not spend, uh, you know, take out another mortgage to, yeah. to customize your Bronco. So I think for um, a more of the budget friendly side, great job on that. One thing I do have to ask, I'm gonna dig at you for this. Oh no. Why in the world would you put a rigid light bar here and then a rough country up here? You know, My OCD is killing is, me, is dude. Freaking I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, um, for, for instance, I will say there's nothing wrong with rough country lights. I'm not saying there's anything bad with them. I just, I like matchy-matchy. So I what was your decision? I think you used the word budget there a couple times. Yes. And that's kind of where we were. And this specific bumper actually called for these specific rigid lights. If we were to pay for this light to be up there, we're looking at triple the cost. Okay. So, so that was kind of the reason. Once again, there had to have been a rhyme and a reason. So I'll, I'll give you that. Now, I want to leave you with one other thing that I absolutely love about this build is that Sunrider top because I'm very vocal in saying how much I love my soft top. The reason I love the soft top in my Bronco is because I like being able to go topless in two seconds. Yep. And having that Sunrider, you get the benefit of having a hard top in the wintertime if it snows in your area, but you also have the premium uh, upside of having the ability to go topless in just two seconds. Yeah, and the latches are just like OEM. It's those same exact handles. You pop them both down, it flips straight back. One person easy, and like I said, when you're done with it, you can put the hard top back on in two to three minutes. Yep, absolutely. Great job, man. Appreciate All right, thank it. you. Nate Dog. great job on this build. Thank I'm you. gonna go through and I'm going to kind of show the things that I particularly love and some of the things that I'm like not so crazy about. Okay. Um, I do like the look of this bumper. Um, I like the slimmer line of the bumper over here, but yeah. the problem is, is they don't have a winch. Right. And to me, I have to have a winch on my Bronco because what, what, what is this? This has kind of got a purpose built to it. Absolutely. You, you, I think you mentioned to me off camera, the, the purpose behind this particular build was to build the all out off-roader. Yep. And I think you hit the nail on the head. Can't do it without a winch. No, you can't. I mean, you've got the high-end suspension system. You've got the high-end Fabtech tie rods. You've got the premium rigid lighting all the way around instead of maybe throwing out a Rough Country random light bar in the middle <laughs> of the build. But once again, nothing against Rough Country. But right. I will tell you though, that this is obviously a uh, very purpose-built vehicle. Um, you'd mentioned it to me. I, I, I think you hit the nail on the head there. My only question is, is, th is this particular build worth the price? Because at the end of the day, I think you were telling me off camera that this build is about double the price yeah. as this one over here. It is. And so the question is, I, I don't know that I can really answer which build is better because this one's got a very specific off-road function that one you might can actually take it and put it in, in, in a parking deck. Right. Can't really necessarily do it. depends what you one. want to do at the end of the day. That's, that's you know? very, very true. So guys, I don't know that I can answer which one I think is better. So I want to know what you think down below, but there's, there's another thing that I want to consider is the third option. And that's the Bronco right behind you. 
<laughs> obviously I'm a little bit biased. Had to you, plug it in. Yeah, I had to somehow, some way. If you are new to our channel, that is my personal 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands. And with that being said, you know, this is a bonus round. You see our little mound over here? Yeah. I'm curious to see what kind of suspension flexing we can get out of each one of them because at the end of the day, it's a Bronco. You should off-road it. That's right. Let's see the articulation. All right, have at it. Uh, have at yeah, it. Are you in four-wheel drive? I mean, don't I hit it hard so. or fast. You just jump You're in four-wheel drive? Yeah, of course. All right, go for it. All right. Let's see what this thing will do. Whoa, you're good. All right, you're off the ground. Not a bad little flex. I didn't rub it all either. <laughs> it's because you also didn't turn your tire. Turn the tire all the way this way while it's up here. Perfect. You Perfect. have no rubbing issues, no clearance issues at all, and the tire just came off the ground. Not a bad little flex, That's especially for a uh, more budget version of the lift kit. Exactly. Once again, link down below. Let's see what kind of advantage 38s have got. Let's see. Pressure's on. Hopefully, I don't get embarrassed now. <laughs> that is a monster. All right, you're good. Whoa. There All right, you you're are. perfect. Quite a good, good flex. Yeah. Not bad. All the way down. Let's check the clearance. Go ahead and turn it all the way to your left. And it clears too. Impressive. 38's clear even at full articulation. Yeah. I wonder if my Bronco with the smaller 37s might can beat you. No. We're going to try. Nah. We're going to see if the Fabtech kit is any better than the Icon, right? Hey, what about that sway bar? That's, you know. Uh, who's count, who's, who, who cares? <laughs> All right, let's see if I can beat you with these tiny little 37s. Is my tire off the ground? Yep, it is what? now. Oh, it, it is? Yep. Ah, I don't know if the 37, oh wait. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Uh, well, I think you took a different line too, so I don't oh, know. Oh, excuses, this is, yeah. excuses. I guess the moral of the story is you can build a Bronco any way you want to, and as long as you're having fun in it, that's what matters. And there you go. That is our Battle of the Builders showing you the different Broncos that you can actually build just in case you couldn't get it built that way from Ford Motor Company. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, leave your comments down below. Vote down below who won between Colton and Nathan. I'm very curious to see who you guys think won. Uh, and if you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.